So this is my tutorial on how to use the blend tool in Illustrator part 2. If you've um, come straight to this tutorial and you don't know about how to replace the, uh, the spine and how to use the blend tool in the first place, then you may need to go back and view part 1 first. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move my flower over to start with. It's very simple and shouldn't take you too long hopefully to create. I've got some elements that I've uh, already created so I'm just going to bring those up. You can see that the first thing that I did was obviously to create the petals um, and then the flower shape. Um, to create the petal I literally um, created a sort of shape something like this. Very basic, very simple and then just worked around with it until it was the sort of shape that I wanted. Obviously it doesn't have to be uh, perfect or exactly the same as mine. You can see that I've just drawn that out and it's not the same but it doesn't matter. Um, then you need to create your two circles. You want them to be a fairly good size um, in order to give you a nice sort of fleshy shape. Um, I've coloured one pink on the stroke and one orange to give a nice peachy coloured effect. Um, I'm going to collect the blend tool, blend them together like so, double click in, make sure that I've got the specified step selected and that in fact it's um, um, got a specified number of steps. So I'm going to just go with 60 for now and then see how that looks. Select the path that I want to replace as the spine, go to object, blend, replace the spine on that. And what you can do in this situation is actually just add another point in to your line and that will finish up the um, shape for you like so. Um, if, like this one, you wanted to add in more steps, you can just double click on here, go back in uh, and add some more steps in to make it more detailed. I'm going to make sure I'm on 80. Um, at this point it is worth noting that... Um, I did use a stroke of, I think, 0.5, there you can see 0.5. I find that using a smaller stroke in this situation makes for a more delicate um, blend between the lines and that actually the effect of that is quite nice and you get this nice interesting sort of translucent effect on your actual um, work. So I'm just going to delete that. You then need to make yourself a circle roughly the same kind of size as this. If you wanted to know the size, it's four, roughly about 4.5 centimetres or 45 millimetres. Um, and I've just highlighted that there. You want to then make sure that you've got your um, guides on, your smart guides. So you can you do um, Command U or just go in to view and get your guides on because it's helpful to make sure that you're lined up. And what we're going to do is we're just going to create this kind of pattern, circular pattern of the petals to make the flower shape. So what I'm going to do once you've got your um, petal in shape is click on the rotate tool. You then need to um, move your cursor, you can see your cursor here has changed to a little cross, over this, um, but I'm going to zoom in a bit so you can see, over this little icon here, hold down alt and that will let you drag it. And what will happen is, because you've got your circle there ready, you get a little sign up saying that you're, you're placing your cursor now in the centre, which is really helpful. Then when you let go of that, you should get the rotate tool options box up. And I think I worked out that for this, an angle of 30 worked quite well. So I'm just going to preview that. I think that's right. So don't click OK at this stage. You want to click copy here to duplicate your shape and then if you click down on command and D and keep clicking on command and D that will create a lovely circle um, shape of your petals for you. So hopefully you have, should have something like this and you can see that already mine's slightly different because I've got more petals but that doesn't matter. Um, what I'm going to do is just drag out the centre of my circle then over here so I can show you how I've done that. And that is really very simple. Again, it's just using the blend tool. And I'm just going to release the blend so you can see what happens. I've got a green circle in the middle and a 
heavier um, yellow circle on the outside. I'm going to select them both, click my blend tool. I'm just going to click a point on the outside and a point on the other edge of the circle and that will blend the two together. I'm going to double click that, make sure it's on specified steps, choose a number here. Um, let's try 75, see what that looks like. Oops. No, nope, that's too many steps. 30 maybe. 30 looks good. Click on OK. And that is the centre of my flower. And I can actually get rid of that because that's spare now. So I'm just going to line that up, put that in the middle. And we now have a nice centre for our flower. Uh, what I might do is actually just make the whole thing a little bit smaller. Just by clicking on S return. Scaling it down a bit. Uh, and that Apple D command is really helpful and useful to know um, because it just basically re repeats the last step that you just did. So you can see that I scaled that to 90 and I wasn't happy with that, so I Apple D'd it to make it go smaller, smaller, smaller. Um, I'm going to create a very simple stem, and what I found was that actually I wanted to rotate um, my flower a bit so that my stem fell between the two petals. You can obviously just create this stem yourself because it's very, very simple and you would have learned how to do that in the previous one. It's just simply a case of creating the two strokes and creating a blend between. I'm going to lock that so I can select my whole flower and group it. And then I want to rotate um, so that I've got those two um, parts of the stem going either side. If you weren't sure how to group, object group or apple G was what I did. Um, and basically, it's very, very simple to create the next um, few steps. So what if I show you here in the uh, preview mode is that I've got a very simple shape made with the pen tool. And they, uh, then I have added my um, blend, a blended sorry, line to that shape, much the same as I did with the petal shape so I'm not going to go over that again because that's quite simple to do drawing out with a pen tool a simple shape creating a spine and then filling that with the colour and then to create the petals it is simply just the same shape again only I've changed the colour so if I drag that across and zoom in you can see that um, if I select the green um, circle, stroke on the circle, I can actually change the colour there to pink and if I select the yellow one I can change it to orange and there we have an actual flower petal. So I've literally edited that easily enough to make the little petal to go oops, on the stem and then I've dragged that, oops, I'm just using the nudge keys to move that where I want it to be, drag that out Object Transform, Reflect, Vertical, and then position my second petal and leaf where I want that to be. Maybe just tweak that a little bit. And you can see I have my flower created using very simple methods um, and the blend tool. So hopefully you can go where you have a little go at that and have some fun making your own flower.